Okay, so let's review supplies that we want everybody to buy and bring with them to the boxcar clinic. So, what we did here, I went on a scavenger hunt to buy the supplies. And I'm going to show you what I got and how I got it and what I spent. Alright, first, let's go right over here. This is the big one. This is a cutting mat that I got at Walmart for 10 bucks. And I want everybody to have one this size. This is roughly TV tray size. So when you are done with this, after you've seen how we do this, remember you have a TV tray size cutting mat. You should be pulling up your TV tray to your easy chair and building some models while you're watching your favorite TV shows or just hanging out with your family. That's kind of an important deal. But it was 10 bucks at Walmart. It wasn't the cheapest one. It was a Fisker's one and it was $9.97. And it's pretty good. It's not super thick like Exacto ones or Cricut ones, but it's um it's double sided. And it's going to work excellent. That is what we want you to have. The other reason, paint spills. This is big enough to contain what are probably going to be some inevitable spills. where We don't want paint to go down onto the carpet and then get in trouble for carpet cleaning. Alright, now let's take a look at the other stuff. This sandwich box dollar store. Your sandwich box, see how big my hand is? See how big my sandwich is? should fit one sandwich. Um, but it's got to have a good resealable lid. See, I've been using mine, and it's still good to go, and I've been using it for like two weeks. But you want to make sure the lid goes on nice and tight. All right, while I was at the dollar store, I picked up some extras. These are things you don't need, but these make up little things, and there are other ones too. See that rust color? You can wipe that off with your finger and you can use it for some weathering. This pen, I haven't tried yet, so I don't know what it does. I'm going to experiment with it. But uh, that's some extra stuff that you may you can bring if you want to. You don't need it. It's not necessary. But it's at the dollar store. They always have something cool like that. Yellow pad. You need a yellow pad. You just, you need a yellow pad. So bring a yellow pad then you can get those anywhere and you probably already have one okay now let's go on to the knife set that I got at Harbor Freight here is the knife set that was four dollars I used a 20% off coupon while I was there I saw this 56 piece set at Harbor Freight it was ten dollars now there are 41 blades and seven handles a scrap stone bunch of stuff in a case I'm sure you all got plenty of exacto knives, but you have to have What's in this set? This set has exactly what we're going to use and I know you probably have a million blades and stuff, but rather than not having something you need think four bucks use your 20% off coupon. It'll be It'll be less if you've got one of them super coupons for 40% off, you can do it even better. But this one, this one isn't bad either. If you want to just upgrade a little bit, getting this set, I got it. I, I already have one, at least one like this, and I've got tons of blades. But just getting the extra 41 blades for 10 bucks, that's less than what it cost me to get regular blades. Now i got a whole new set of blades. That was at Harbor Freight with a coupon. Then I went to Michael's. This is the brush set that you need. It was $9. White Taclon. We're going to be painting with acrylics. White Taclon is what we're going to use with acrylics. Now, white, these brushes are pretty cheap. They're kind of disposable, but they will last for the amount of stuff that we're going to paint with it. This is a pretty decent set. They had another set there, a 50-piece. 
for eight dollars and what it didn't have were these bigger brushes here we don't need the huge brushes but we need that one and then it also has the brush we're going to use for decal solution and then it's got a couple of brushes in here that are probably really good for dry brushing if you want to do some extra detailing but this is just a good set and i know you know if you're like me i got just tons of extra paint brushes i really didn't need another set of paint brushes but i used i put the michael's phone app on my phone and as you can see when you do that you get 20 percent off everything if you have the phone app if you're already using that hobby lobby 40 percent phone app you should be using the michaels one too because they've got tons of stuff and you just get 20 percent off on whatever you buy it's a great deal plus look what they put in my bag they gave me a 40 percenter just like hobby lobby has all i gotta do is hold on to that and you, you basically get one every time you go in there so those are the brushes 20 percent off that was pretty good this is the scissors that I specified it was $1.79 and I got 20% off but they had another scissors see these holes here in my fingers a little small it's a really good precision scissors but check this out upgrading for another was it was like one more dollar what was that big scissors cost on here eight inch scissors two dollars and twenty nine cents minus a dollar minus twenty percent cost me less than two dollars for a bigger scissors that's just a little bit better so I went ahead and got that now I'm squared away now I got what I need for decals you need the knife you need the scissors if you got fumble fingers I suggest upgrading for about it was like fifty cents upgrade for a little bit go ahead get a little bit bigger one if you want to i also got you don't need this but i got one for me since we are going to be customizing kind of auto like autographing and signing our work i got a a an artist pen and it wasn't very much how much does it cost like five dollars see if we can find it here Premium extra fine, three dollars and seventy nine cents. I got twenty percent off. Cost me three dollars and three cents. Multi surface, premium, fast dry pen. And since we're using yellow, I decided I'd get a red one because I'm pretty sure that red will show up on the side. Then I wanted to try something else. You've seen the Walmart Apple Apple Barrel paints. And we use those for lots of things. Well, at Michael's, they had one, instead of 79 cents, it was like 99 cents. And it was just a, it was a premium. So I wanted to give this a try. It's kind of a burnt umber type color. It says premium acrylic. I'm going to give that a shot. That's something that extra that you could bring along a couple of them. And we could use them. Okay, the one thing that I did not find. My dollar store was cleaned out. I don't have a tub to put the stuff in. That's something you want to think about. You want to have something to put all of your supplies in for your workstation. Keep yourself nice and tidy and have a way to carry everything. And make it big enough to put your boxcar in when you're all done. And basically, that's it. I spent $28 total and I got some extra stuff. And I am ready to go, basically, to show up and be ready to complete the mission. And this is for some of you guys, you never completed three boxcars in one day before. But we're going to do that. And this is how you do it. And it's that easy. If you live in a place where you don't have these stores, hardware store, grocery store, a lot of these things you can get. Most grocery stores have scissors, sewing stores. Um, you can probably put together a knife set somehow, but you got to have the right blades in it. You got to have. You gotta have, let's take a look at this picture right here. You need the flat blade. Where is that guy? Right. 
You need one of these flat, you need the flat blade for sure. You need a little blade for trimming. Um, and you need a blade to pull, to pull small decals up onto the flat blade. And I like to use the big flat blade, which is that one. And there's a little flat blade like that one for small decals. I like to have that. That's the kind of stuff that you need. What I did not find was tweezers. We're going to need tweezers, and I haven't found, found a place to get them yet. I have tons of tweezers of my own. Hopefully you got tweezers. Someone once said, get a good pair of tweezers and learn how to use it. That's very good, solid advice. But otherwise, that's what I got. 28 bucks, and I'm ready to roll.